Welcome to Dynamics 365, Creating and Modifying System Views. So when you're logged into Dynamics in the same browser, open up a new tab and uh, go to make.powerapps.com. That will open up a screen very similar to this, and you just need to make sure you're in the correct environment. So if you click the environment up at the top, um, it remembers it for future. It's usually not the default one, and we've got a couple here, but it's usually your business name without default against it. So in this case, we're in AMS Streamline. And then you want to uh, load tables on the left-hand side. And if that doesn't display, click on more and you'll see tables within there. So that lists all of our tables within your system. And it's got a couple of filters by default. It's got recommended, custom, and all. So I want to do some view editing on the order entity. So I'm just going to change to order. And it's returned purchase order, but it's not returned order. So in this case, I want to click on all, and then it should return order this time in the table list. Okay, so we click on order, open up the table, and over on the right-hand side, we've got the views in the data experiences. So click on views. You've got your list of existing system views, and it's the public views that you'll want to be changing. Um, we're not going to cover these in this video, but you don't want to be doing anything with the advanced find views, associated views, lookup views, and quick find views at this stage. So it's the public views that we're changing. So I'm going to go into the all orders view, and you can see that's my default view. And in the interface that opens up, what you get uh, is a very useful um, list of functionality. So you've got all the table columns available in the left hand side, along with related. Uh, records, which we've covered in a previous video for how you can get to other data from here as well. Um, you've got in the middle an example of the data that's going to be returned and what your view is going to look like. So you get to see real-time editing, which is very helpful. And then on the right-hand side, you've got your overall view definitions. So we'll start on the right-hand side first, actually. So if you wanted to change this to all orders um, and you wanted just to change the name to something else, um, I'm just going to put a full stop in there just to show that it will make the change in the, in the system. Um, you could also, if you wanted to, use a drop down here instead of save, you could save as and just create it as a, as a new view. So in a previous video, we've um, used a, uh, an example in personal views for orders over 10K. In this video, I'm going to create one for orders over 100K. So actually, I'm going to use save as. I'm going to give it a new name, all orders over 100K. So our new system view is being created, it reloads the screen, and it loads up our new view, all orders over 100K. So what I need to do is I need to put a filter on here now. So edit filters down at the bottom, and you'll be familiar with this if you've done some work in personal views. You click on add, add row, and we're going to filter on sell price is greater than 100,000. Click OK. And it creates the filter, but applies it to the records in your view. So you can see exactly what data is going to be returned, which, again, really helpful. Um, you can also change the sort order here as well. So it's sorted by created on at the minute. But I want to change that. And I'm actually going to sort by sell price instead. And I'm going to sort it by sell price descending. So I can just click the arrow to change between ascending and descending. You can also change your columns in here as well. So you can drag and drop the columns around just by simply left-clicking and dragging. If you right-click the column header, you get some more options. So you can edit properties, and this is where you can change the width of the column. Um, you can also uh, sort it in here as well, which will add a sort sequence um, over on the right-hand side, so you can see it's now sorted by name. If I wanted to make, undo that change, I can just click undo and go back to sell price again. And they can move left or move right instead of dragging and dropping, or you can specify where you want to insert a view column from here. So if I Click insert view column, and I say I'm going to bring in the uh, the build to city. Then it will bring build to city in there as well. You then have all of your columns on the left hand side, and you could also drag and drop from here. So if you want to dra drag and drop build to postcode, it gives you a little marker when you get to the column headers where it's going to drop it to. Let go, and it drops it into there as well. To confirm our changes, click on save. That saves it, but it doesn't publish it yet. So you just need to click on Publish. 
It may take a little longer with it being the first time the view has been published into the database. So that's all fine. That's been published through OK. And if you're clicking to the system again, and we just do a hard refresh. So a hard refresh is when you press Control and refresh together. Then we've got our personal view, which we created in a previous video. Um, but we've now got our system view, all orders over 100K. So this will be available for all users of the system now, which is obviously oftentimes more helpful than personal views, which are only available to yourself unless you share them with other users. So you've got the core concepts there for being able to edit your system views. If you're a little uncertain on what to do with them, you may want to, to try personal views at first. And um, similarly, you may want to um, use save as uh, instead of changing one of the core views that other users use in the system um, and create your own version of the view first until you're happy with it. Um, and then you could rename it at that point as well. And um, there's, there's a variety of ways you can run that through. But if you wanted to make a quick change to a system view, um, that's how you can do so in the system, or you can create a new view as well. And the quickest way to do that is by using save as.